Hey everybody, today I wanna show you and teach you a little bit about lighting. It's gonna take a few videos to do that. Today we're gonna to use this magic wand, which is basically a nerd meter. It's going off the charts reading you guys because you're watching a video on lighting. This meter is like four or 500 bucks. It's served me well over the last like 15 years. It measures how much par is coming out of a light. I wanna teach you guys today about the distance between your light and your plant. Whether there's water in there or not, we're gonna show a few examples and hopefully you'll learn something from it. All right, so we've got the first just general setup that I wanna start teaching with. So right now we have CO2 being injected, which that doesn't really matter. I'm just, what, you know, you might be asking, what are the bubbles that are going up? The plants are happy and they're releasing oxygen. Good sign. This is the new aquarium co-op light. That doesn't really matter for this experiment. It's just a light. That's what we need to know. We need to know that it's a light. Now, what I wanna teach is how far away the plants are from the light determines how bright your light is. So a lot of times people just go, hey, what light do you have? I'll buy that one, I'll get those results. Cause it's how life works. Hey, you bought that car, do you like it? I'll buy one of those. It's that ticking if you hear in the background, it's my water change system. Anyway, so basically the closer this plant gets to the light, the more light it will get. The further the light gets from a plant, the less light it will get. Today, we're gonna measure it in par. That's just another metric that we can use. This is a par meter. So we can see here that we're getting 65 par. Now, what does that mean? Some of the greats like Tom Barr would say, you can grow any plant in an aquarium with at least 40 par. So we've got kind of more than enough. And that's kind of been my experience too. There are some plants that, you know, if you want deeper purples and stuff, you go a little bit heavier. Today, I wanna to teach you some of the ways to optimize. Maybe you've got a cheaper light. Maybe you're just looking to get a little more light. Maybe you want less light. That happens a lot too. So while our light is dimmable, you can go down from this setting. Let's imagine you don't have a light that can do that, right? 66. If we wanted to go up, even a glass top blocks some light. Now this is a fairly clean glass top. So don't forget to clean your tops. You're trying to get maximum light, but it's gonna block some. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up we're gonna move this light to now without having the glass top directly over it and now we want to know how much light do we get by just removing a glass top my thumb there so it'll focus maybe come on 90 right 66 to 90 that's a huge jump and you might be saying well I'm never running a glass top again and yeah, you might be right. If you had a low powered light, that might be true. If you were trying to reduce the light so you're getting algae and all that kind of stuff, you might go, hey, I need to add a glass top. Now, when I built my store, I did all kinds of tests and there's different types of glass. I don't know if this one's low iron, but like greenhouse tops that I use in my store, they blocked almost no light. Kind of makes sense, right? Greenhouse panels, not blocking light. Hey, let's do that. You know, what is the light gonna be at the top of that plant? Right? So these plants are stem plants. They're gonna keep getting taller and taller and taller. One of the things you guys might hear me say is, hey, what if we float these plants, kind of like some of these little plants are floating, they'll get a lot more light. And if you don't have a powerful light, that might really help get your, your stem plant started. I can't remember where that, that spot is. And we're gonna go up to, oh, we're gonna do this plant. So now the light probe's at the top of that thing. And now I have to set, well, let's see. So we got, went up to 110 par. You've heard me in the past say things like four inches of water will have the par. That doesn't really exist anymore. I don't know where, why that was that way in the past because in my testing it would. Maybe that was T5 lighting and fluorescent and poor LEDs, but LEDs have gotten so good now. The other thing I want to show you guys is the placement matters of your plants and your light. So right now the light is kind of in the front half for this experiment which means right underneath it's gonna be the brightest point, and you're gonna see less light in the corners and the back. So when you go to plant your plants, you know, this is sometimes why you might use more than one light if you don't have good spread, which ours is meant to light 18 inches to two feet, whereas like some of the lights are straight up and down. But if we look at it right now, we've got about 84 par right there. If I kind of grab this thing and I go, what's it like? So there we go, we're way back there, 33 par. What? That's way different. What about by the CO2 diffuser where we don't really want to grow algae on that thing? Right, we put that way back there. 29 par. What about in the center? 
kind of under the light. You can see it right here. There's that, the light's more forward still. 54. If we come out like another few inches, 72. What if we come to the front corner right there? 65 or 66. What if we planted a plant right there? 70. You know, if you're gonna run foreground plants that need high light, you need to make sure your light's towards the front. Because like right here, right now, 103. Right here, boom, blazing. Let's say you like to run your light at the back because that's where it's out of the way, right? Didn't move this. Half as much, 50 by just doing that. So if you're gonna run, you know, maybe, you, and, I, and I put it on glass. So do know that it's on glass and it's now in the center, 72 up front. So I just wanted to let you know that placement of plants and where the light is also will make a difference to how much light and where the light is going. In my opinion, having a strong light you can dim down gives you the most options. So pick that for what it's worth. So the next thing I wanna set up is what if you had a canopy? Right? What if we raise this light up? And I think, you know, if I just hold it, you guys go, yeah, but maybe it wouldn't be that high. But let's put the canopy on this tank and put the light on top of the canopy and then take a PAR measurement. All right, now here's a quick visual representation of having a canopy. Normally when you have canopy, you mount the light to the top. I don't have the top because I don't like that trapping in the heat, but I just wanna show some more. Look, it's sitting up top, fairly close to where it would be. What is the par now at the substrate level? We were at 66 before, 38. So not quite half, but nearly half by adding a canopy. So yeah, that's more than four inches. That's more like 10 inches, right? But that's where you can get that like, yeah, you raise it above, you're gonna lower the light level a lot. And visually it looks a lot less. Now what I wanna do is I wanna show you the same exact light on a 40 breeder. So you can understand like, oh, I don't have the 65 tall, still three feet, still 18 inches front to back. This tank is literally just taller than the tank over there. Same aquarium co-op light. Hopefully it's out by the time this video comes out. It's amazing. Anyway, so at full power on this one, this tank is shorter, right? Shorter, 107, 108 par. Now that's a lot. It would grow tons of algae like this if I left it on that way all the time, which I wouldn't. So in this case, if you bought a light that was this powerful, you would pretty much, and you had Anubia stuff, you'd only end up with an algae farm. This is an instance where you'd be going, oh man, I don't need this much light. That's way too much light. So with our light, you know, you could dim it, right? So we're gonna hit the dim button and we're gonna dim it one level. Hey, look, we're down to 88. Dim it another level. Hey, that's the same amount of light as we had in the bigger tank. That's 65 at two clicks down. Dim it again. Now we're at 40. This is where you're growing lots of crypts and Anubias and things like that and not getting so much algae. Click it down again. Now we're at 20. This is like a stingray. A Phoenix stingray runs this. This is what we run in the shop so that we don't grow almost any algae. And then we can go down even more, down to like 10 par. That'd be a pretty cruddy light, honestly. Uh, and then we can go down even one more and this is barely on, one par, barely. You can see it here. You know, it barely lights up my hand. This might be like a glowfish tank or a startup tank. So we're gonna turn that back up a bit here. Now what I wanna show you is I wanna show you a couple, maybe other lights and other setups. So for instance, we've been lighting the fish room with these lights for over a year. This plant right here is the same plant that we're growing over there that's purling in that tank. But what's the light? You can see like, oh, it's not that bright in here. I wonder how much par is growing these plants. Let's find out. This light right up here with a cobweb on it, shooting down is giving oh, 14 par. That's like a stingray light. So enough to grow low light plants. You can see like that back there is not getting too much light. The job is doing fine. And it will grow this up here. But how much light do you think is going up there, right? We, we kind of learned maybe it's gonna be double or more by going up this much. So let's see. We raise this to now, I'm see I'm blocking my light. So there we go. 31, so not quite double. 
Let's look at this. What about this plant right here? Floating at the top, another stem plant, Pogo. At the bottom of this tank, if I was to get some, uh, some measurements, let's see if I can do that. We're getting 11. What about the top of the water? Right next to there, 17, 16. So you can see, you can grow plants at that 15 to 20 level. We've done it for many, many, many years. All right, so now you know that light based on how far from the plant or the substrate to the light makes a difference. Glass tops make a difference. If you put it above a canopy or raise it above the tank, that makes a difference. Quality of light. We'll get into those later, but you know, depending on how powerful light you buy to begin with is how much trouble you're gonna be in. If you're riding that line, you might have to keep that glass clean or not be able to run up top, your fish could jump. The problem I, I wanted to solve here was everyone just like, oh, I use this light, but you're using on so many different aquariums that it's not necessarily applicable. So like I have to turn it down for my 40s where I run it at full blast at my 65 because it's taller, much taller than these guys. And so that really matters when we're trying to help each other as hobbyists going, hey, I use this light, but just know it works really well on my 10, but not my 55 or my 180 gallon or my 800 gallon aquarium, right? Hopefully you've learned something. Now you got a little more info of like, okay, kind of know what par is. It's at least a measurement of light. I kind of know that how tall my tank is, I'm gonna need more light. You can watch other videos that are gonna show you different par levels for different lights, features, wattage. Like one of the ones I'm proud of for our light is it doesn't use as much energy as other lights. So it's cheaper to run, runs cooler, live longer while still doing pretty darn highlights. Not the highest one out there. You're gonna to have to get into salt water black box lights and that kind of stuff where they're, you know, they're like turning on a heater, but uh, for fresh water, I think they're pretty good. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Hit that like button, hit subscribe. If you made it all the way through this nerd video and uh, we'll see you in a live stream on a Sunday sometime. We hope you enjoyed this video. To watch another one just like this, click here.